Who Wants Arthur? Story by Amanda Graham. Pictures by Donna Geinel. Arthur was a very ordinary dog. He lived in Mrs. Humber's pet shop with many other animals, but Arthur was the only dog. All the other dogs had been sold because dogs were very popular. All the dogs except Arthur. He was just an ordinary brown dog who dearly wanted a home with a pair of old slippers to chew. On Monday morning, Mrs. Humber put some rabbits in the window. By the end of the day, the window was empty, except for Arthur. Nobody wanted an ordinary brown dog. Everybody wanted rabbits. So that night, when all was quiet, Arthur practiced being a rabbit. He practiced eating carrots and poking out his front teeth and making his ears stand up straight. He practiced very hard until he was sure he could be a rabbit. The next morning, Mrs. Hummer put some snakes in the window. By the end of the day, the window was empty except for Arthur. Nobody wanted an ordinary brown dog, not even one who acted like a rabbit. Everybody wanted snakes. So that night, when all was quiet, Arthur practiced being a snake. He practiced hissing and slithering and sliding and looking cool. He practiced very hard until he was sure he could be a snake. The next morning, Mrs. Humber put some fish in the window. By the end of the day, the window was empty except for Arthur. Nobody wanted an ordinary brown dog, not even one who acted like a rabbit and a snake. Everybody wanted fish. So that night, when all was quiet, Arthur practiced being a fish. He practiced swimming and blowing bubbles and breathing underwater. He practiced very hard until he was sure he could be a fish. The next morning, Mrs. Humber put some cats in the window. By the end of the day, the window was empty, except for Arthur. Nobody wanted an ordinary brown dog, not even one who acted like a rabbit and a snake and a fish. Everybody wanted cats. Arthur felt he would never find a home with a pair of old slippers to chew. The next morning, Mrs. Humber put the rest of her pets in the window. There were two hamsters, a cage of mice, three canaries, a blue parakeet, a green frog, one sleepy lizard, and Arthur. Arthur jumped on lily pads, squeaked and nibbled cheese, purred, croaked, and even tried to fly. By the end of the day, the window was empty, except for Arthur. He collapsed, exhausted in the window, the corner of the window. Now he was certain he would never find a home, whether he was a rabbit, a snake, a fish, a cat, or a purple-spotted three-headed donkey. Arthur decided that he might as well be just an ordinary brown dog. Late that afternoon, as Mrs. Humber was closing the shop, a man came in with his granddaughter. Excuse me, he said. Melanie tells me that you have a rather extraordinary dog who performs all sorts of tricks. The only dog I have, replied Mrs. Humber, is Arthur. There he is, Grandpa, in the window, cried Melanie. She rushed to give, pick up Arthur and gave her the biggest, wettest, doggiest lick ever. At last, Arthur knew he had found a home with a pair of old slippers to chew. The end.